America's top diplomat to Ukraine, Kristina Kvien, and her team have arrived in Kiev. Last month, Secretary of State Antony Blinken promised to reopen the U.S. Embassy in the Ukrainian capital. The move is the latest step towards the resumption of a full U.S. presence in the Ukrainian capital after diplomats began returning to the western city of Lviv last month. A senior State Department official said the trip, timed to commemorate Victory in Europe Day on Sunday, was a temporary visit and does not signal the reopening of the embassy. Russia celebrates the 1945 defeat of Nazi Germany on its Victory Day on Monday. Today, we're 74 days into an unprovoked and unjustified war. A war of aggression against Ukraine, perpetrated by an equally depraved aggressor, who, as in 1945, will be defeated by the courage and resolve of soldiers and civilians standing up against evil for the common good. I'm thrilled to be able to return to Kyiv, as I said earlier today, Victory in Europe Day, to observe the triumph of good over evil in the city I love among people who embody the spirit of this commemoration. There is much to celebrate on this Victory Day. Though battles rage and missiles continue to fall, we can say that President Putin has failed. He has failed to take Kyiv, as we all know, since we're here today. Through, uh, though his savage advance certainly caused untold suffering and damage, some of which we saw in the drive-in today, just a couple hours ago. Uh, but Putin failed to replace Ukraine's government with Russian stooges. Meanwhile, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has made a surprise visit to Kiev, Ukraine. Trudeau reopened the Canadian embassy and was seen raising the Canadian flag, which had been brought down before Russian troops marched into the city. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.